last month at Pokemon Worlds, we were gifted the unbelievable trailer of owner's Pokemon showcasing those popular trainers and popular Pokemon like Lily's Clefairy and Marnie's Grimmsnarl. Pokemon with their trainers have always just been one of my favorite things about the Pokemon TCG. I love going all the way back to the original like Team Rocket set of just the Pokemon even with a small little face stamp of their trainer. Absolutely love that. Was obsessed with those sets as a kid. And for me personally, what really made the Sword and Shield era super special was the trainer gallery slot. And this trainer gallery slot made us feel like, like we got more bang for our buck. It was an awesome feeling getting the double hits from these booster packs, getting a really beautiful trainer gallery card that wasn't as expensive as the alt arts but then right after that pulling one of those big expensive alternative arts such an amazing time for such an amazing era now with this video i wanted to throw this question at you guys and i am going to give my my take but with the announcement of the owner's pokemon trainer's pokemon coming back into scarlet and violet are we going to see people and just more eyes going back to the trainer gallery cards and even some cards that include trainers in the past, I personally believe so. And I know it feels like I've made tons of videos about the Sword and Shield era, and I know we're in the SV era, that I can't seem to let the Sword and Shield era go. But I think it's a fair question. I believe that with these owner Pokemon comes collectors that are new to the SV9 era, and then we're going to go and look back into to the Sword and Shield era to pick up some of these trainer cards at a low affordable price. Like I said in my past video, if you guys didn't watch that, I'm gonna leave that right around here. But it, it was the case for me. How I got back into the hobby was in the Sword and Shield era, and then was like, wow, these cards say X card exist. I'm gonna go try to find that in the Sun and Moon era or the XY era. And then my brain, my collector brain just started to pick up speed. And then before I knew it, the snowball was just going too fast and uh, we ended up with all of this sealed collection behind me and multiple binders and a Pokemon YouTube. And again, this question goes out to Pokemon collectors because if you are someone like me that are missing a lot of these trainer gallery cards. Uh, I, I was looking at some of these cards and I do want to own them in Japanese or Chinese, different languages, etc. But if you're a collector and you're just missing out on some of these cards or you kind of been waiting for God knows what reason or maybe you wanted to see some of these cards drop down because of the recent trainer gallery spark like the Karen's Umbreon from Brilliant Stars going up and uh, you know bigger cards, bigger trainer gallery cards like that. I want to make this video so that you can maybe double check and maybe purchase these cards, not induce FOMO, not to tell you guys what to buy, but maybe just to keep an eye out or a, or a better eye out, set some um, buyer alerts on like eBay if that's for you, and to pick these up sooner than later because I believe that a lot of investors are also looking at these plays too. They're looking at an edge on the market maybe to buy some of these higher price or maybe really lower price trainer gallery cards to take a gamble at some profit so and this video isn't going to have a bunch of fancy charts or graphs and i'm not gonna tell you guys what to buy again but just to showcase some of my favorite trainer gallery cards that i think you guys should pick up maybe right now um probably sooner than later i think probably vintage is going to be safe vintage is, is uh, like the Misty's Gyarados. I think that that card is probably safe for cards in that era are safe It's just a little too far for These collectors that are going to be in the trainers Pokemon to maybe look back I could be completely wrong Let me know if I am in the comment section down below, but I'm gonna really really uh, Zone in on the trainer gallery from the sword and show because I believe that this is the market, this is the era that is going to be affected the most from these trainer Pokemon uh, upcoming set. So my first pick of today's video is going to be the Umbreon VMAX. I've said this in multiple videos in the past that this card right here, to me personally, is better than the Moonbreon. I love this card, I think it is an absolute steal. I do want to pick this up in Japanese. I, do, I have an English, but I want to pick it up, pick it up with the, the silver uh, gray borders. But 
If this one's not on your list, this one needs to be, it needs to be in your binder as soon as possible. I know that it, it's gone up and down in the market. It's very volatile, but it's just one to keep your eye on for sure. And, and in this video, there's not gonna be any price points. So the price points for most of these cards, minus the, the big ones, I'm gonna try to go big to small, but um, they're under they're under five to ten dollars on the really small side, and then these bigger cards like the Umbreon V Max and maybe the Star Star Me and uh, Misty and Star Me card, that's going to be on the higher end, thirty five, which is higher end for Trainer Gallery cards. But yeah, I just didn't want to throw any charts. Just wanted to show love to some of these cards. And this card right here is probably the most underrated Trainer Gallery card uh, in my personal opinion. Um, I'm a huge Morty fan. I just finished um, Gen 2. I just finished uh, Sahara Gold Soul Silver, and Morty's just such a dope trainer. So such a fan loved trainer as well. Ghost type, and you know he's just he's just a bad dude. This Dusk Noir card is you find it sub five bucks. When I see cards like this, it makes me really really think how we got blessed by Pokemon that these cards are so cheap and they were so abundant because these arts are just top tier. This is another card that I want to own in Japanese just because the yellow borders are fine, but I, I think of that it clashes a little too much with these cards. My biggest gripe with the trainer gallery, just the whole, the whole set in general, is that I wish that there were just full arts, just no borders, just just the art. I think if that was a part of this, we might see a higher price value. Again, let me know if I'm tripping. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comment section down below. But uh, this is a must own. This card is a absolute must own for any ghost type uh, lover and just for a Morty lover. I mean, Morty is probably a top five Pokemon in my personal opinion. But um, yeah, great card to have. Go pick it up right now because it's so so cheap next is the summer card of the sword and shield era one of the best cards uh probably in the sword and shield era and that's the star me v um with misty misty we all know we don't have to say anything about misty misty's probably gonna get a trainer's pokemon card in uh the scarlet and violet era i would not put it past pokemon i mean she's such an amazing such an iconic trainer so this one if you don't have it, this this is a like a staple. Like if I had to tell people how to you know recommend recommend cards to to start their collection, this is definitely one of them. This is a must own, and um, I, that's that's all I have to say. Yeah, I kind of went a little crazy when it comes to the popular po uh, Pokemon trainers. I didn't want to I didn't want to do this, but now that I'm looking back at, at my list, um, I'm starting to realize the pattern. But um, Cynthia and Garchomp is is there is there much to say amazing card i love this card because of the black borders this card is absolutely beautiful probably the top female trainer by popularity she's probably the strongest uh, uh character in the animes as well i mean it's this is a hard one to beat it's a very very cheap card and again pokemon absolutely blessed us with this artwork and garchomp again garchomp is another top 25 pokemon of all time i believe i love hearing your guys' thoughts of 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 the of my like in comparison to my top trainers and my top pokemon these are just i'm just throwing out ideas at you guys to to, to create debate and create a um yeah just thoughts going around but garchomp cynthia must own um beautiful card now this next pick i i specifically put this one on the list because of my last video talking about the um the lycia cards that are being announced or going to be in Pokemon's and Japan's new set, Paradise Dragona, the big dragon set that we've all been waiting for, and yet we still are waiting for dragons, somehow. Um, I, I know Altaria is a dragon type, but um, I had to throw this one on the list. It just, it worked seamlessly. This is the Lycia Trainer Gallery. I don't I don't remember what this is called, what is this from? I, yeah, I forget what this one's from. Maybe Astral Radiance? I believe it was Astral Radiance that this one's coming from. Astral Radiance, if you guys don't know, has the best Trainer Gallery, in my personal opinion. Absolutely incredible. But yeah, this, this Lycia and Altaria card had to throw on the list because of yesterday's video. This card is so beautiful. I don't, I, I believe I have this in English, but I don't have it in Japanese. I do want a Japanese just because 
the 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 silver borders just look a little bit better and cleaner i will probably look to grade that card when i get it in japanese just to have it displayed i really like lisa i really liked her in the anime i like how she's portrayed i like the uh her the green hair and the the, the crazy clothes I, I like it i think it's cool i think she's a very unique character in uh in a Pokemon universe that I think is somewhat bland. I, I like the the crazy colors of, of some of these Pokemon trainers, uh, personally. But with this card uh, being so cheap and then her counterpart to the Sun and Moon card being at the over $400 mark, it's just it, it, crazy. So for all you Alicia fans out there trying to collect all of her, um, all of her top cards, this is one to start off with it because it's just so darn cheap and it, i think it's a beautiful underrated card so our next pick is going to have another yet again big big female full art supporter or full art trainer trainer that we all know and love alicia uh it's the flaffy alicia's flappy i believe this is from lost origin i could be completely just but i'm just going off of memory i should have wrote this down but th this the flaffy card I, like I said, I just finished Heart Gold Soul Silver. Flaffy, I, I got put on to. Flaffy and Ampharos is, are absolutely overpowered in those games. And I've, I really started to fall in love with Ampharos and Flaffy. I think this is a great Pokemon. Again, it just makes sense to have this card on today's list. A very popular Gen 2 Pokemon and a very popular trainer. Female full art trainer. Female trainer, sorry. Um, I, I get another sub $5 card. Beautiful. This one definitely has uh, pump ability. I think that all of the cards that I just named, Cynthia, Alicia, and um, uh, Cynthia, Ali, Alice, Alessa, sorry. Oh my gosh, Alessa, sorry. Alessa and Alicia all have uh, the ability to climb in price once again. I know we've seen the, the Misty card, like I said before, climb in price and people are calling market manipulation. And we all seen what happened to Red's Pikachu, etc. And I think we can see those pumps once again. Not completely sure, but um, I think with all the owners Pokemon, just giving a little bit of time, it's not gonna happen immediately. But uh, Alessa is one of uh, the cards that I think uh, we all should look at, we all should add to our list. And uh, yeah, sorry for <laughs> mispronouncing once again. And if you are enjoying this content or if I provided any value, I greatly appreciate it. If you guys just hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. It goes a long way for the algorithm. Um, I'm trying to hit that 2K mark. So if you help your boy out, I'd greatly appreciate it. So with that all being said, let's get to our final pick for today's video. So going into our final pick, I, th I, this video was actually over and I was scrolling through eBay of all the cards, all the trainer gallery cards that I thought were absolutely amazing. Then I stumbled across this uh, Kingdra card in Japanese absolutely incredible uh, i know this is i know i didn't want to talk about the uh, the price of this but this in japanese for four bucks is just an absolute crime this is just crazy if before this video ends i need you guys to open up another chat tab and and buy this card I, i'm personally going to japan pretty soon and i will be scooping this one up in person i i i really want to hold this one to potentially grade i think this is a great card to add to my collection back there, my graded slabs. And I'm very particular when it comes to Pokemon that I want to display, but this one, this one right here at four bucks, I, I know I could find some deals uh, in Japan, but this one for you guys, four bucks, can't go wrong, beautiful card. And uh, I think it's a perfect way to end this video. And if you like videos like this, I'm gonna leave another one linked right around here. And until tomorrow,